Good morning. I'm getting ready for work, but yesterday I went to Sephora and I got the new Hourglass Stick Foundation. I already opened it. Um, I've been wanting to try a stick foundation since I'm a soccer. I also had to buy the brush. I think that it's like a like a chubby little thing. Well, this is the hardest thing to open for me at least. <laughs> but I like it. So they color matched me at Sephora and I am using the shade Buff. The girl at Sephora told me since it's so full coverage, the design of the triangle is actually meant to be stamped. Okay, so here is where I start to try the stamp method that I mentioned, and it needed a lot more pressure than I thought. So it started to push the whole thing down and made a mess all over the sides, and I used way too much product, as you can see. Maybe don't listen to me. What the? Don't go with the stamping method. Don't do it. Hello, hello. Do you want to help me? I know, I don't want to go to work either. I want to stay with you. All right, this is gonna be too much. Oh. I like it. I'm trying to face the actual light that's coming in from the window. The brush is really nice. I usually don't apply my foundation with a brush at all, for one, because I don't like cleaning my brushes. And I don't like the, the way it feels, but this, it works. I just like the design of it, at least. All right, we're gonna move on to brows. I use the Benefit Brow in the shade two. Welcome back. Thank you. What? Next, what I do in my routine is I do my eyes. Now, let's just ignore them out there. I like to first do like a crease color because I've been obsessed with using only highlight palettes for my entire look. And I, I use like a darker shade in the crease. And of course, Laguna Bronzer is the one shade that I find looks the best. So I don't put anything besides the paint pot on my lid. And then I'll go in like with the crease and just darken that up. All right, jumping into the Aurora palette, which is beautiful. I'm going to go in with this shade here. Spectra. It's a purple shade. And I just pack it right on the lid. I'm going to use the same brush. So. Then I'm going to go in with Helia. This green color for my brow highlight. I think I'm always just covering it up, what I'm doing. Next, um, I like to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in black and just put it under my eye, like a mess. Zoeva 226 smudger, and just smudge it out. Now what I love is these highlights are so pigmented that that's what I take and I put over the black liner, soften it up and not make it so harsh. And I'm going in with the shade Luna. I'm taking the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and just gonna tight line. I really don't do a wing, but I very, very closely tight line. I'm 
going to take the smallest amount of the shape tape. This is in the shade light medium and just a little bit because honestly that um, the hourglass really just took care of everything. I don't really need to brighten maybe a little. Now I'm just going to bronze. And because I don't want to get any other blush, I'm just going to use the blush that comes in here. Now to highlight, I am going to take, I kind of just like have fun with it. I don't, they all look so beautiful, but I'm going to take Lyra and Orion. Just mix it. Mix it. I take the Zoeva Luxe pencil in 230 and go into that Orion blue shade and just put it right in the inner corner. All right, Tubby, Mama's got to hurry. Now that it's officially daylight and I'm done, it's time for me to go to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Like and subscribe to my channel. I'll try to put out new videos. I have to go, but I can't. just pop me down here. It's so cute. I'll check back in, you know, after work. Hey, guys. All right. Checking in on the Hourglass Foundation. I got home from work. It is like 6.15, so it's been on for almost 12 hours. At 11 o'clock at work, I, I started to notice um, it was like sitting on in these pores right here. It was like sitting in them, so I took a tissue and I like blotted. I did mention like when I was applying it this morning I you saw I applied way too much so I was taking it and constantly brushing off the excess on a paper towel could be part of the issue I did use a new primer could be an issue it's my time of the month could be why I'm like oil glands or just at an all-time high I don't know a lot of factors going on I really want this foundation to work for me because I love the simplicity of the stick and I love the brand I'm gonna go um possibly get the Dior Air Flash foundation. I, like, I was so torn between this one and that one. And on my hand, that Air Flash looked really good. So I may go try that, compare the two. I'm definitely gonna give this another day and try some different things like the primer. I'm setting it maybe differently. But I mean, that's a lot of shine. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty intense. I do feel a little slippery and greasy so we'll give it another shot I'll keep you posted on if I have different outcomes I'm gonna be toning my hair soon um so if you guys want to see a video on how I get my hair this color like subscribe and let me know in the comments